my channel so as you can see from the title today we are gonna make the chinese lo mein you know i see people call it cho mein i don't know the chinese people out there let me know is it lo mein or is it cho mein so i must say today we are gonna make cho lo mein okay now i must confess this is one of my favorite chinese dishes now it's so tasty it smells so good and a good thing about it is the fact that it's so easy to make now if you want to find out how to make this then keep watching this video so in this video we are going to make the beef lo mein depending on what you want we have the you know chicken lo mein we have the shrimp lo mein we have the vegetable lo mein it just depends on you i prefer the beef lo mein so let's get started now first of all you are obviously gonna need some meat okay i have here some beef now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna slice them very thinly so this is what we have here after slicing them now i'm gonna come in with my favorite seasoning and i'm gonna come in with some sweet soy sauce then i'm gonna come in with some white pepper i'm just gonna mix everything up now i'm gonna set this aside in the fridge for about two hours i'm gonna put a pan on fire and come in with some oil i'm gonna come in with some chopped garlic and fry it for about a minute i'm gonna come in with some sliced chili pepper now this is not so hot okay depending on what you want you can add very hot pepper or you can you know reduce it pepper is just a little spicy it's just a little hot but not too much so i'm gonna fry it for about a minute too i must say this is gonna add some extra flavor to it after about a minute i'm gonna come in with my seasoned meat and I'm gonna give it a little stir I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Oregon onto it it gives it that extra smell I'm just gonna leave it to cook for about a minute after a minute I'm gonna come in with some slices of red onions then I'm gonna come in with some sliced carrots when I'm making lo mein I just like to cut my vegetables bigger I'm gonna come in with some sliced sweet pepper and I must say, I love, love, love some mushrooms in my lo mein. This is optional. If you don't want it, you can do without it. I'm just going to put in some mushrooms. And of course, I love some sweet peas in my lo mein. Now, one other important thing you are going to need in this recipe is the dark soy sauce. To be specific, it has to be the sweet soy sauce. I'm going to come in with about four tablespoonful gonna give it a little stir and allow it to cook for about two minutes now just one minute before it is ready i'm gonna drop in some spring onions and this is gonna top it up with that extra flavor i'll give it a stir let it cook for one minute and put off the fire now i'm gonna put some water on fire and come in with some salt now the spaghetti is very important and usually in lo mein we use the bigger spaghetti and um, i decided to buy this um, spaghetti which needs about 15 minutes to cook i don't know it looks better it tastes better with you know bigger spaghetti so i'm just gonna drop the spaghetti in my hot boiling water and let it cook so it's been after 15 minutes and the spaghetti is cooked so i'm just gonna drain it so i'm gonna put my spaghetti in my sauce then come in with some dark soy sauce again now this should be done on low fire and using my fork and my wooden ladle i'm just gonna mix everything up Since I love, love, love spring onions, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the green part of spring onions on it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our Chinese beef lo mein is ready. And I wish I could let you smell this on the internet. But unfortunately, I cannot. The only thing you can do is to give this a try and you are going to thank me later. And look at this guys, don't you want to try it? It smells so good and I must tell you, it tastes so good. You cannot stop at one bite and you would not want to share this with anyone. I hope you did enjoy this video and you must promise me you are really gonna give this a try. If you've not subscribed to this beautiful channel, what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button right now. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm gonna see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye!